So we previously broken down the anatomy of Donald Trump's various scams. And, you know, the moment Donald Trump gave that speech in Wildwood, New Jersey, and the Associated Press reported that there was 80 to 100,000 people there based on statements that were made earlier in the day by Trump campaign officials and then the MAGA mayor's spokesperson, Lisa Fagan, then said 80,000 to 100,000. We told you, look, they have a MAGA mayor in Wildwood, New Jersey, who, by the way, is under indictment for health care fraud. Surprise, surprise. All of a sudden, you have the spokesperson from Wildwood giving a number that matches identically the number coming from Trump campaign officials. We explain to you the entire premise of Donald Trump's campaign because he can barely even get through speeches. His words are so incoherent. Inco he's so cognitively impaired that their entire premise is what I call the strong man, weak man paradigm by just talking about crowd sizes and polls. They can't talk about issues because one, Donald Trump doesn't even know any of the issues. And when he talks about the issues, he's just a wannabe fascist. So they got to focus on the bigger crowd sizes, the inevitability of fascism. So they push monster numbers, 80,000, 100,000. Then the Trump campaign recently was saying 107,000. All bogus, all completely false. Here's a new article from New Jersey's Insider, Trump's Wildwood Mirage. And now we know officially that the Associated Press based their 80,000 to 100,000 estimate on Lisa Fagan. This is exactly what we told you what was going to happen. Lisa Fagan, the spokesperson for the MAGA mayor of Wildwood, adopted the numbers that she got directly from not independent evaluation, not data from the Trump campaign. Then she parroted that to the Associated Press who sloppily posted 80,000 to 100,000 and then all the other media parroted that and then a false and deceptive narrative developed that was pushed out there. We called it the moment it went down. Here's the article, Trump's Wildwood Mirage by Bob Henley, and they're calling it out here. Wildwood officials who were the source of the Associated Press's reporting that former President Trump drew between 80,000 to 100,000 to a beachfront weekend rally now say it was not the number on the beach at the rally per se, but rather it was the number of people in our town. For the actual rally number, we defer to the Trump campaign for the exact count on the beach. Each, the latest Wildwood statement asserts. Let me repeat that one more time. For the actual rally number, we defer to the Trump campaign for the exact count on the beach, the latest Wildwood statement asserts. And let me remind you again that Wildwood has a MAGA mayor who is under indictment. And they say that they defer to the Trump campaign and that their 80,000 was all of the people who were in Wildwood that weekend. So over this past weekend, uh, President Biden spoke at at Morehouse in Atlanta. So should we use the entire population of Atlanta and say that it was X millions of people who attended President Biden's speech at Morehouse? Just take the population of Atlanta because that's what they did in Wildwood to come up with that ridiculous and absurd number that the media parroted. This article goes on to say, Lisa Fagan, the Wildwood Press spokesperson, AP originally cited as the source for the original crowd estimate, was quoted as saying, the eye-popping estimate was based off her own observations on the scene Saturday, having seen dozens of other events in the same space. Five days later, when asked to explain the wide variance between the AP reporting and the NewJersey.com video that reveals a crowd in the few thousands, Fagan provided a statement from Mayor Triano at odds with what the wire service initially attributed to Fagan. And remember, Mayor Triano is the mayor under indicted, the MAGA Republican mayor. It's a small MAGA enclave in New Jersey. Quote, this is what this is what they're running with now. But of course, other than this great reporting by local media, the national corporate media doesn't do anything. So hat tip to this local media for staying on the story the same way we do at MidasTouch.com. 
quote, as a tourist town, this is what their new statement is, by the way, after saying 80,000 to 100,000. As a tourist town, we speak in tourism numbers. That's what Troiano wrote, the MAGA mayor. When we see that volume of a people attending a beach, a beach event, we know that 80,000 people are in our town. We see a quarter of a million visitors every weekend in the summer on our 1.89 mile boardwalk, not to mention our five mile island. So we know what volume looks like. They were watching and listening from the beach and boardwalk in bars and restaurants at hotels and second homes. People even lined up along the streets parade style. We defer to the Trump campaign for the exact count on the beach. We defer. So Trump, a serial manipulator and fraudster of all numbers, inflating everything, they come up with the number, they pass it to the MAGA mayor who passes to the corporate media who lies to you, who lies to us, to our faces. And that's why it's so important we call it out. All this corporate media stuff perpetuating this and pushing this out, just a total sham. We defer to the Trump campaign. It goes on to say, Wildwood Mayor Ernie Troiano told New Jersey Advanced Media last week, the rally will be held between the Schlellinger and Spicer Avenues, a stretch of beach between two amusement park piers accommodating a crowd size of between 30,000 and 40,000. Troiano is under indictment on state corruption charges that he, along with former Wildwood Mayor Pete Byron and City Commissioner Steve Muskulski, fraudulently obtained coverage in the state health benefits program as full-time employees employees. All three pleaded not guilty. There was a hearing scheduled in Troiano's case on May 17th. I had cited the AP reporting on Trump's rally size in my Insider New Jersey story that was picked up by Salon. So this writer is admitting like, y'all fooled me. Y'all, I relied on your numbers. Since I started writing for the Ramsey Moi report at 17 over half a century ago, the AP has been the gold standard for news gathering. Founded in 1846, AP has been an independent news cooperative whose members are U.S. newspapers and broadcasters steadfast in our mission to inform the world. Steve Peoples, AP's chief political reporter who was on the rally story byline tweeted, Lisa Fagan, spokesperson for the city of Wildwood, told the Associated Press that she estimated the crowd represented between 80,000 and 100,000 attendees based off her own observations on the scene Saturday, having seen dozens of other events in the same space. On May 11th, before the rally, people tweeted, Trump's team expects tens of thousands of supporters to attend this afternoon's Jersey Shore rally, which may be among the largest of his political career. People's Twitter account phrases, the other side is not the enemy, but it was just but it just wasn't the crowd size that AP used to boost the former president's narrative. They gave his grievance about his having to endure criminal prosecution credence in their story headline, quote, Trump tells Jersey Shore crowd he's being forced to endure Biden's show trial and hush money case. Pause there for a second. You remember that's the speech where Donald Trump started talking about the late, great Hannibal Lecter, and he was just giving this completely cognitively impaired speech. AP parrots Donald Trump's grievance, gives Trump the headline he wants, and gives Trump the fake numbers that he wants. Then in the body of the story, what the headline says is Trump's view pops up in the objective narrative. Uh, and then it goes on to say, I wrote about AP's media relations about the wide discrepancy between AP's reporting on the crowd size and the actual video from the event. The number is an estimate from an independent city official. The reporting notes this and is transparent about how Fagan arrived in the estimate. AP's media relations responded, the AP wasn't alone. Sandwiched between the boardwalk and the Atlantic Ocean, Mr. Trump stood in front of tens of thousands of people at a rally on the beach in Wildwood, where he largely repeated the same criticism of President Biden that have characterized his Trump's, his stump speech in recent months. No, his stump speech in recent months is making noises and yelling at contractors and yelling at flies. It goes on to say, CBS News proclaimed that Trump's one-day appearance at Wildwood, Wildwood ushered in an economic boom in the Cape May County town. It goes on to list more of this. The bottom line is that we told you the moment that we looked at it because we could look with our eyes. 
and we can look with our with the objective data and we could say look even before this event Lisa Fagan said that this section could only hold 20,000 people and that it was less than half full there was between 5 and 10,000 people there it was so obvious but even where the sky is blue if Donald Trump says the sky is red or the sky is orange, the media runs with that. And it's uh, and it's basically, don't look up. We're going to push Trump's narrative. And we're not going to criticize him for all the deranged, unhinged, and crazy things that he's saying. Look, I don't like to complain, oh, corporate media, this, corporate media, that. But it's so important that we get the right facts and we get the truth out to you. And here we have it confirmed what actually went down. And I just want to be clear how our reporting was accurate when we reported it that day that day of that wild one. And this is what they do all the time. Go look at our other reporting with all their other scams. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe, let's get to 3 million together. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.